Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing extremely well. So today I will discuss about mock test strategy. How we can increase your marks by at least 20. So I will give some tips by which if you follow these tips, you can increase your marks. So let's start today's video. I will share the most important tips in my tips number 5. So wait and watch till the end. So I will share you 5 important tips by which you can do better. So my first tips is, you know there are two type of question pattern you get. Sometimes get organizer keep one marks question first then two marks question or sometimes they mixed up the question but past two years they are giving one mark question first and two marks question after that so by this you can make your strategy i think two marks question is giving two marks because of its difficulty it's a bit difficult so for solving two marks question you need good amount of patience in your mind so i suggest what i did in my preparation time i always attend two marks question first then i go for one marks question by this in my first one hour my brain is fresh so i can think critically of the questions of whatever questions are asking it will be a good strategy if you attend two marks question first and tips number two if you are attempting numerical question but it's taking too long time to solve the problem one thing you can do whatever question you are reading during reading the question you can note down the important point in your draft notebook so that after reading two three lines of problem already you are doing a small illustration of this problem so it will help to solve the problem very quickly by this you can find out what the information given and what to find out so if you follow this thing for numerical question i think it will be very good approach and my tips number three when you are attempting conceptual question in conceptual question reading the question is very important so i will say any conceptual type question read the question two to three times by this you can find each and every detail of information given in the question so what you can do read the question one time first in one go and then during reading second times write down the information the important twist in the question important points whatever given in this uh, statement write down this in your rough notebook and then whatever concept you know analysis this by figuring out the information you wrote in the notebook tips number four it's a very important many students i know they try to attempt aptitude in last half an hour time but it's a it's a actually a wrong decision to do aptitude in last uh, minutes of the exams. I will say start with aptitude because aptitude is like warm up. You are you are warming up your brain for doing giving a good exam. So you I suggest you to attempt aptitude in very first half an hour. Generally, I used to take. 15 to 20 minutes for my aptitude I allocate 15 to 20 minutes after that I jump to the technical questions so I will say just follow this thing if you are doing aptitude in the last half an hour so the tips number 5 is the most important tips for increasing your mock test marks I think by these tips only you can increase your marks by 10 to 15 so, I say this tips is three part, three pass. So, the three part, you all, I already said that aptitude, one is one marks question and one is two marks question. These are the three part. 
and first is three parts by one and half hour you have to at least read each and every question uh, like one pass you have to complete by one and half hour and after that by one hour you have to again complete one pass whatever question you do not do in one pass so by two and half hour you are completing two pass now by last 30 minutes you can do whatever hard questions you face like you can do but it may take time you can attend this question in third pass so if i elaborate this thing by first pass you will attend easy questions all the easy question what you can do instantly you can think about it just do it in second pass you just do some bit difficult question maybe sometimes some conceptual question some bit tricky question you can do in second pass and in third pass what the whatever question is time taking so computer architecture questions are be time taking sometimes computer network questions are be time taking you can follow this three pass three part system i think it will increase your marks to 10 to 15 the marks wait wait this is important ever tried taking notes while actually listening to lecture on youtube zoom google meet and failed meet office mom it joins your lecture automatically takes notes gives you a clean lecture summary and even sends smart deadline reminders even in multiple languages get 100 minutes free trial how you can use office mom here is the join online meeting option if you want to go there you can find google meet zoom microsoft teams other meeting option and if you want to summarize your youtube lecture you can go in this third option and here you can upload a youtube video or audio to summarize this and get the important topics from it if you want to record a live offline meeting you can start meeting here and it will record it automatically and give you a summary of that if you want to get the paid plan from this platform office mom gives kids students a discount you can get 10% cap discount by using this coupon code so use it and enjoy your learning is i have an announcement for you guys i already made a video about this in my last short video that i will make a q and a type video within a week i think so just comment it down your problem whatever problem you are facing uh, now in get preparation i will take your problem and will try to give you a good solution if you like this video hit the like button and if you have not subscribed the channel subscribe it